Welcome, 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 and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be fabric covering this here tumbler. Now, I have um, took it outside and spray painted it already. I just spray painted it white. I put some tape around the tip just because I want the lip to be silver. So I'm just peeling that tape off before we put our fabric on. And I got my line a little crooked, but it's okay. And I just did one coat of spray paint on this. Um, so we have our tumbler. I have my fabric here. I got these little fabric um, quarters from the Dollar Tree. As you all know, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so they do have some breast cancer awareness fabrics. Um, so I'll grab these two. I'll probably use... I'll probably use this one. And with the excess, we are going to do another project with that. Probably on tomorrow. So we're going to fabric wrap, fabric wrap this tumbler with this here fabric, okay? And then we'll add a name or something on it. You are going to need some Mod Podge to adhere your fabric. You can get that at any craft store, Walmart, and they have small ones at the Dollar Tree, okay? So I'm just going to try to get like a idea of how the size that I need to cut my fabric It's going to be plenty left, so we're going to have enough to do another project. So I'm just going to pour a generous amount of Mod Podge on here. Oh, I didn't mean to pour that much. I did not mean to pour that much. But anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and spread this out. I poured too much. I said generous, but I didn't mean that much because I didn't want it dripping, but... And I actually should have flipped my cup turner around because I am right-handed. So, I need to paint with my right and turn the tumbler with my left. I can plug it up to turn, but I just don't want to do that. It's not necessary at the moment. All right. And as you can see, I got some of my Mod Podge at the top, but that's okay. Hopefully I'm in view. So I'm just spreading this out. Just sit that down. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. So I'm going to use my straight edge, not the edge that I cut. And I'm just going to try to line this up as close. I'm focusing on my edge up here. I'm just trying to line it up as best I could. Okay. And then we're going to come back through after we get this straightened up with more Mod Podge, okay? So again, I'm just trying to line this up with my white edge at the tip, smoothing it out as I go. And like I said, it is going to overlap when it comes together, but we are going to straighten it up once it's dry.
Okay, you guys, so I have finished putting my um, coats of Mod Podge on here. I only did two really good coats, you guys, okay? So now I am going to take my trimmer and go around the edge of this and trim part of this bottom off. I did go ahead and cut this already where the fabric overlapped, but it wasn't quite dry when I um, went to cut it. So it's kind of a little messy. I'm going to try to clean it up. I'm going to try to clean it up. It does still need to dry a little. But as you can see, I'm just taking this little X-Acto knife and just trimming it up a little better. But if you wait until it's all the way dry and hard, you won't get that fraying. It'll be a little neater. So this is the part that I cut off already. As you can see, you can see this overlapping here, but it's fine. Okay. And I just folded this here down at the bottom. Hopefully y'all can see it. So we're going to trim that up. And then as you can see up here, this need to be cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to try to clean that up with my X-Acto knife. So I have this trimmer. And let me tell y'all, I do not know how this thing got broken. Because I put it together when I got it and I never used it. I went in my craft room one day. And well, my other craft room, not this room, and it was broke, so I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna have to figure out some type of way to fix it or probably order another. I probably don't need to order another because this one still works. So, what I'm gonna do, as you can see, there's a blade here, I've adjusted it already to where I want it. Um, I'm gonna put my cup up against here, just kind of holding it firmly. I should have moved this out of the way, and then I'm just gonna turn my cup on that blade pressing my cup up against the blade and it should be cutting my fabric okay again like i stated it's still kind of soft but I think it's hard enough for me to go ahead and work with. All right. So hopefully it cut for us. Let's just grab something that we can kind of grab hold of the fabric with and try to pull it off so as you can see it cut my fabric and of course you can see white here because i spray painted but we're going to clean that up so it did cut pretty good And just like that, we have cleaned that up. So, and I just took my little, one of my weeding tools and just pulled that a loose. All right. And I could really just take some acetone and clean this up. But I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just scrape this excess off here. And then I'll wipe it down. So here... Get some acetone.
right, so now I'm probably gonna come in with some glitter. So I ended up having to clean this bottom off because I decided at the last minute, as you can see, that I wanted to keep it silver. So you don't have to paint spray paint this. I just thought I was gonna leave it all white at the bottom, but I decided, like I said, last minute that I wanted to keep. I knew I wanted to keep the top rim silver, but I decided at the last minute that I wanted to keep the bottom rim silver as well. All right. So next, like I said, I'm gonna put glitter at the bottom of here. So I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna sprinkle some glitter at the bottom um, before we epoxy. So I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna sprinkle some glitter at the bottom. Then we're gonna put a, uh, our first layer of epoxy on here. But this is what we have so far. And like I said, this is not perfect, but it's fine. mixed up my epoxy i've let it sit so we're gonna epoxy this and let it cure for 24 hours So here is our fabric wrap tumbler. I actually really like it. The only thing I wish I would have did is I wish I would have went with the glitter at the bottom. I don't know why I decided to do a silver, but it's fine. It's going to stay like that. Um, So what I'm going to do is I cut this decal out using my Cricut Maker. Um, So we're going to put this on the front of here now i didn't do a video on this i'll do another video uh i'll do another video at a later time showing you how to cut out um decals using your cricut but i cut this out to go on here and the whole purpose of this video was to just show you all how to fabric wrap a tumbler so here's our decal and I don't have nothing to 
this is where our fabric comes together. I wanted to put this right here just to kind of camouflage that where you see the fabric coming together. So I'm just going to apply this. Just so we can kind of hide that line. And then I'm going to go straight over. And it looked like I got it a little crooked, but it's okay. Now I'm going to take this off. I am going to add another layer of epoxy. And then we will be done. So I'll be back to show you all.